Hi folks, Babber from Babber's Big Ideas. Uh, today we're going to learn how to restore a wicker chair. At first I thought it was going to be an easy thing to do. Uh, a little bit of stain, a little bit of love, no problem. But there's a little bit more to do than that. Anyway, let me show you what we have. So here's the wicker chair. It was given to me by a friend of mine who um, had moved away few years back and it has gone from my place to one of my daughter's place to a different daughter's place and has been outside a little bit a little exposed to the elements didn't look too bad at first I thought oh well you know some paint clean up might be fine but when I look at the bottom and underneath the chair I see that it definitely needs just a little more repair or it's not going to last very long anyway so we'll, we'll see how we do with this but first thing we're going to do is clean it up in the cleaning process i gave the chair a rinse then i washed it with warm soapy water and a scrub brush i just used a dish detergent at this point careful to get all the little nooks and crannies. And then I gave it a real thorough rinse to get all the soap out. All right, so I have taken this off of the chair and using it as a template made this one. So, throw her on. All right, so we've replaced the piece of wood. I need to tighten up these little guys a little bit, I think. Um, and then the bamboo here I managed to get on, but I don't know if you can see this little splint, but the nail was sticking out and there's no way of taking that and redoing it. So I had to kind of split it apart, twist it in there, but I think if we super glue in there, wood glue it, and then cane it really well, that should at least give it a couple years. Cane it in like this guy here. Notice it's gone. And we'll tighten these guys up too and throw some... Uh, wood glue in there. Um, yeah, so it's going to take a little bit of time to clean all this mess up. This also needs to be done here, so figure it out. Okay, so here is what the bottom of the chair looks like so far, and I think it's looking pretty good. Replace the wood, recaned some of the sides here, had to do some uh, Gorilla Glue because the bamboo was actually split so got it back into the nail and then glued the heck out of it so hopefully that'll hold up for a few more years cleaned up the uh, back legs cleaned up the front legs we'll put some nice twine rope on these sides here later For now, I think I'm just going to let it dry. Hi, so now we're getting ready for stain. Let's get started. So first we started under the chair. We used a stain. This was Verathane brand wood stain in provincial color. It was a little bit darker than I had anticipated when I first put it on. We applied it with a chip brush, which helped us to really drive the stain in between the wicker. We gave it two coats total with two hours between to dry. So far, looking pretty good. The next day, the chair was given two coats of Verathane 
satin finish outdoor spray to protect it. Careful with this part to wear a mask and gloves. So here's the finished product. Looks pretty good. It was a little darker than I had originally anticipated, but it looks really nice. I'm really happy with this color and it has a really nice sheen with that satin finish. So I should get a few more years with this. Well, I hope you found that video helpful. Don't forget to click to subscribe. This is Babber, Babber's Big Ideas. Until next time.